Hi YouTube, it's me Maritza once again. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on what's been going on with me. So on Friday I saw my OBGYN. Um, as a matter of fact, I was supposed to bring in a 24 hour urine so I decided to do it on Thursday so that when I went in on Friday it was just like a fresh catch of urine throughout the whole 24 hours prior. So I brought it in. And the first thing I hear is one of the nurses going up to my OBGYN and saying she's spilling a lot of protein. So that automatically, I don't know, it, it scared me a little bit, I guess, because uh, spilling protein is not necessarily a good thing. So um, they say when you spill protein, that's pretty much a really big indication that you most likely have preeclampsia. But the thing is, since I have the kidney transplant, it could also be the kidney losing some function. So today's Monday, April 7th, 2014. Tomorrow is my birthday. And I turned 28 years old. But uh, hopefully this week I'll get a call ASAP regarding the blood work I did. I did some blood work to see what the further testing will determine regarding my health. Um, the baby is is still good. I had an ultrasound done. She's 1 pound 11 ounces and she's doing great so far. But they say that preeclampsia is not a very good condition. It could be very, very risky for the mother and for the baby. So, um, spilling protein, but my blood pressure was normal. My blood pressure, since I've had my second kidney transplant, I have had low blood pressure. My blood pressures are always very low, so, um, but technically preeclampsia doesn't always have to determine high blood pressure, it can also determine the protein leaking in the urine. So uh, I have had some symptoms that worry me. Last week prior to the appointment I had a headache three days in a row, that's, that's a, a common symptom of preeclampsia. Also, uh, my urine output has decreased a fair amount, so that also is a symptom of preeclampsia, so that worries me as well. Uh, okay, so let me just tell you what preeclampsia is. It's a condition. Um, it's a condition that only happens during pregnancy, and if you do get it with your first pregnancy, you're bound to get it with your other pregnancies if you were to get pregnant again. So preeclampsia deals with high blood pressure. Well, actually the main reason, I mean the, the situation with preeclampsia is that it deals with an abnormality with the placenta. So I'm assuming that having an autoimmune disease, uh, well, you guys already know that with the kidney transplant, the immune system is just not working as well. So maybe the enlargement of the uterus, the growing of the placenta, um, the inflammation in the body in general, you know, all this stuff happening as pregnancy progresses, it uh, causes for the immune system to have difficulty. And so, uh, hence the preeclampsia. But they say that preeclampsia happens usually in first time pregnancies in women under 20 years old or women over 40. It also happens if you have a history of kidney disease, um, high blood pressure and whatnot. And you know what, I do have a history of all that. So I guess I'm just at that risk. I technically do not have preeclampsia as of right now from what I'm aware of. But that's why they did blood work on me. They took like five or six tubes of blood to make sure there's nothing further going on with my body or with my health. So I'll determine this week what the situation is with that. And uh, I'm not going to lie. I've been very anxious and concerned this past weekend. It's been very tough for me because, you know, that means that, I mean, you know what? You know what matters is that, if anything, it's been caught fairly early. I'm about to be 26 weeks pregnant. No. I don't even know anymore. Um, what? 
is going on with my mind. Let me double check my calendar. Yes, I am going to be 26. Yes, I'm 26 weeks pregnant. Six and a half months. They say that after 20 weeks pregnant is when the chances of preeclampsia are, are uh, common. But also they say that usually it happens within the last trimester closer to delivery. And when you have an early onset of it, it's, it's even riskier. So if I do have it, it's very, very early. But um, the only cure for preeclampsia is to deliver the baby. But, of course, at this stage, the doctor is going to want the baby to stay in the bun for as long as possible. For as much as I can handle because I'm being affected. And if I'm going to be affected, then my baby's going to be affected. So... Uh, I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot. So let's see what happens this week. And as soon as I get results, I will definitely be posting. If I do have mild preeclampsia, at least it was caught early, they're most likely going to tell me to be on bed rest. And that's not something I'm accustomed to because I've been working out like every day. So I'm going to have to take it easy with the working out and with the activity. I most likely eventually will have to leave my job early because of this you know because I work with kids and I'm always on the run with the kids and all that so it's gonna be something I might have to just leave until further notice uh, I will do anything to make sure my daughter is full-blown born you know we want her to be fully developed not preterm premature so that's the story so far uh, if you have any questions please post it down below I'm sorry for the delay in videos. I will be posting more. This week I will definitely be posting more. I am going to call the OBGYN before she calls me because I really want to know what's going on. I'm just like on some anxious mode and I need to find out soon what my blood work determined. And most likely I will have to do a 24-hour urine again according to my doctor. Honestly, I did the 24-hour urine and I peed this much. I mean, no, as a matter of fact, I drank this much and peed half of that. So that already tells me that I have a decreased urine output. And so let's see what happens from here. But guys, you know, much love to you guys. I will continue posting, even if it means every couple of weeks. I promise I will keep posting because I know there are many kidney transplant patient females who would love to get pregnant or who are pregnant and you know there is never enough information for us so peace god bless love you guys all and see you soon